Welcome to Straight Hood, Five Ingredients or Less. So today I decided to make a um, bone-in pork shoulder, okay? Now, before we start, I got my stove on medium high. I'm going to start this grease. So it can start getting hot already. Now, I take my pork shoulder and I'm going to wrench it off first. Just like this. And now we wrench it off and you can take some of this little fat off right here, but I want to keep mine on. I'm going to use the stock and make a gravy afterwards. Okay. So now we're going to bring it over here. From here, I'm only going to use a couple of seasonings. I'm going to use a lot of salt. Now, be generous with salt because this is a big old T-bone right here. Or a pork shoulder, should we say, however you want. And we're going to do the salt and the pepper real good. And I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing. Just rub it all in. I'm going to do a lot of pepper. And a lot of salt like this. Don't worry about it. It's going to cook through and through. Now, you also can cut it and slit it however you would like to do. You can put, you know, red pepper flakes on it. You can put anything you would like. I'm just going to add just a little bit of rosemary leaves. Just like this. A little bit. And that's how I do this. Just like this. Now, we're going to take this to this pan. Come yeah, take And see if it's hot because we want to sear this first. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Like that, in case they won't burn you a little bit. And I'm doing the fat part first. Before I put it in there, I'm putting it all in there. Just like that. Let me wash my hands. Now, if you're nervous about everything, you can put a top on it. You know. But I'm just going to do cook both sides. Kind of brown, however dark you like it, just to get all that goodness up in there so it can all go through and through. Why not it sitting on that side? Let's come over here, Kathy, from baby. We're gonna take our onion. Now, as you see, I be cutting them up like this because I want to place my onions in here first, just like this. And, like I said, you can be generous and don't worry about going overboard. That's all I need to do. Now, let's come and I'm going to turn this over. And remember, I said you're going to do the same thing on the other side for about a minute or two. If you want it darker, that's fine. I just want this type of, to go in my juices. Once I bake it, just like that. And you can do it just like that for another minute. Like I said, about a minute or two on both sides. Okay. Now. Once you get done about a minute or two on both sides. I'm going to place it in this oven. Right here up in the oven. Now it's going to get darker. But I'm just showing y'all. Now remember, however dark you want it. So we're going to face it just like that. And set up over here. Now. All I'm going to do. Is get a cup of water. Because I'm going to have the onions cooked. Now, you can use chicken stock. You can use any type of broth if you want at this point. 
And I'm just putting it up in here like this. Just the kind of the basis of the bottom. Put your foil on it. And make sure you preheated your oven to 325 or 350. You want to close this really tight. Now, let this cook for about two hours. So that's why you want to get up and make it nice early. Now, once it finished cooking, it's going to come out looking just like this. Let's see. Yes. Nice and tender. The way you would like it. Now, from here on, if you feel like pulling the juices in the pan and making you gravy, anything, that's fine. I'm just showing you the basis of your pork shoulder. Nice, tender. You don't have to worry about nothing because it's all coming out good. Just like that. Now, I want y'all to remember to come back to Straight Hood. Better yet, follow me on my YouTube. It's free. Straight Hood. Five Ingredients Celeste. Where you can look up and see all type of dishes I made. Simple and easy. If I can do it, you can do it too.